You don't go and ask Albert King, can I sit in? You're crazy, you know. I like to play music because I'm able to express myself. My father gave me a guitar with three strings on it that he bought for five bucks from his buddy. So that's when I started playing. I've been playing ever since. I moved to Austin right at the end of 69. I was moving here with the hopes uh, of, you know, getting gigs and getting a band together and everything. I'm playing the six-string bass. This could have been anywhere in the, the state because we did this every night. You know, back then, Austin had a reputation for being a little bit crazy, a little over the edge. There's a lot of, like, beatniks and, and weirdos here. In the 60s, you didn't want to have long hair or be different in a lot of places or you get your ass kicked. And they had a lot of weird bands here, so I always figured I could come here and play blues, you know. The Conqueroo, and they had 13th Floor Elevators, and they had all these kind of bands like that. So I thought, well, if they'll let them do that, then they'll let me play, have a blues band, you know. Played for years around town. Really sort of got the blues scene going. A lot of people assume that Clifford invented the blues and started everybody on this path. But that wasn't really the case. He was just in the right place and he wanted to open a, a great club and have blues and jazz there, mostly blues. So he, he hired everybody that was working from Chicago, from Louisiana, from, you know, from LA, that had been popular in the 50s and, and was still working. Jimmy Rogers from Chicago, Eddie Taylor, Jimmy Reed, he had Ike Turner, he had Bobby Blue Bland, Albert King with his full band, or Albert Collins. He had everyone he could get. My band was the house band. If the artist, whoever it was, didn't have a band, then we would learn their uh, material and, and back them up. Well, Steve Ray Vaughan is my little brother. He's a world-famous guitar player to a lot of his fans, but he's my little brother, and uh, I started out playing guitar first. He watched me learn, and then I'd put the guitar down and, and go somewhere or do something, and he would pick it up. And When he got out of high school, he came down when he was uh, 17 or 18, whatever it was, stayed here and started playing around and started playing, coming to wherever we were. Here we are at Antone's, I don't know what year it was. We're all standing around, it's Albert King show. It's packed, it's like Saturday night. If you ever saw Albert King play, he's like Goliath with a guitar. He's the meanest, baddest guitar player you've ever heard of. Look at Antone and says, uh, hey, I have this kid that I want you to let sit in and play with you. Wait a minute, you know, I often think about the time you would come in dragging your little guitar. They say, I want to sit in. They say, Steve is here, let him sit in. Albert King's got 10 hits. I mean, he's hot. Albert just kind of looks at, at Clifford like you're crazy. I know, who is Stevie? Yeah, he is. 
Yeah. I'll bring him on up. Name the city. He was a little offended, and he said, "Okay, bring him up." And I think they were. He was going to do a number on him. Stevie plugged in and you know and started playing Albert King licks and doing them really good. So Albert just sort of went, okay, and he just sort of took him under his wing. He didn't like anybody else, but he liked Stevie. <laughs> yeah, there was some good time back then. I wouldn't have dared gotten up there. I don't think anybody in the room would have got up there. You don't go and ask Albert King, can I sit in? You're crazy. <laughs> It's been 27 years since Stevie got killed. So you got two choices. You can either just go off and, and uh, be sad, or you can get back and, and enjoy yourself and do the best you can. And so I've done a little bit of both. Well, I hope to play until I drop, because I enjoy it, and, uh, you know, I think uh, if the roles were reversed, Stevie would be playing, and why would I want to stop, you know? How's everybody feeling tonight? <laughs> I'm just going to play until I can't play anymore.